Okay, so uh, this piece here, we call it uh, Horizon of the Moon. I know that's a, not a real title or a proper name, but Horizon and Horizonal. That's how I came out with this, is having to do with the horizon. So it's called Horizon of the Moon. This was uh, Supermoon, Santa Barbara, California, 2007. This is one of the most rarest supermoons that's been recorded. Different areas around the world, you were able to see the sun and the moon in your peripheral view. As I was sitting on top of this mountain ranking on the coast of Santa Barbara, I was able to see the sun coming up and the moon setting. So this was a planned shot for over 10 years. What I did is I built a system that keeps the camera in motion with her and the moon. This is done with an old box camera, also with a glass slide. Now, instead of the camera starting from ground, I started from above. This is because the moon is setting. Instead of a rising moon, I'm taking a setting moon. So I start from up above. I have a motion device that's actually on a track. This is 10 minutes, so the track is 10 feet long. Camera starts moving at 360 degrees at the top. One motor is keeping the motion, motion of the earth. The second motor is sloping it down onto the track. So that's all the moon set. What you see are hidden light, hidden detail. I like to call it hidden data. Uh, we don't get to ever see these colors when the moon is setting, but this is because the sun is rising. All that light from the sun is hitting the moon, creates this glow. Now I did 10 minutes of exposure, so that's drawing in more light, more detail. The information is there, but we can't see with our own eyes. That's why you, we take sometimes longer exposures to bring out more detail. So what I did, 10 minutes, keeping the camera moving, created a perfectly clear shot. So that way, that's why you get the stars to be perfectly clear, no movement of the moon. I chose to have low tide so you can see more contrast of the ocean. So the moon is setting. You also can see some of the clouds. The clouds are coming in and sort of create like a, a twist of light. It create almost like a nebula feel. And the beauty about this shot is as you lower the lights down in a, in a room, if you put it in, say, at night, you lower the lights down, you will create a completely different image. It starts to feel not even of this world. You're seeing sort of these colors that are not even visible to what we're seeing on, on a picture right now, but it's got these millions of little silver crystal particles that are creating this image to become more luminescent, more visually beautiful. And that's you know, the beauty of my photography, shooting it naturally, taking longer exposures, and using the time to bring out details that we can't always see. But they're all naturally shot, and this one I call it Horizon.